Hi, I'm Susan Chris. I'm ACEC's Senior Vice President of Meetings, Exhibits and Awards, which means it's my pleasure to be working to create an exciting and memorable annual convention and legislative summit for you. I'd like to highlight some things that you should be sure to put on your convention agenda, starting with our general sessions. Throughout the event, our industry will gather to listen to keynote speakers addressing topics ranging from the upcoming election to how to communicate about ESG to an inspirational talk from an MMA fighter turned humanitarian who's working to bring water and hope to communities in Africa. There's also a complete schedule of education sessions, which you will hear more about from my colleague, Sandy Lynch. Balancing out the education are a number of networking events designed to help you meet and mingle with other attendees. The first must attend networking event is our welcome reception and welcome dinner on Monday, which will feature entertainment by Miguel Cervantes, who played the lead role, Alexander Hamilton, in the Broadway production of Hamilton. He will be sharing a unique blend of story and song with us, which is sure to be memorable. And you'll want to attend our other networking events, including the breaks, lunch, and evening reception in the exhibit area. These events are a great way to reunite with old colleagues and meet new friends. They also give you the opportunity to check out technologies and services offered by our exhibitors and our sponsors that can help you achieve success in your business. Our meeting culminates with our Engineering Excellence Awards Gala on Wednesday night. This is celebrating the year's greatest engineering achievements, and this black tie event is sold out, so I hope you got your ticket. If you are new to our events, be sure to sign up for Buddy Up, a new program that pairs new attendees with seasoned attendees, or event ambassadors as we call them. These experienced attendees can help you decide which education sessions to attend, introduce you to other attendees, and help you navigate the event so you get the most out of your convention experience. Don't forget to download our mobile app before coming to the meeting. It will help you create your convention schedule, get updates in real time, and participate in polling at the general sessions. And if you haven't done so already, register now. I look forward to seeing you there. Hi, I'm Sandy Lynch, ACEC's Senior Vice President of Membership, MO Services, and Business Resources and Education. We can't wait to see you in Washington, D.C. at the Annual Convention and Legislative Summit. In addition to the general and concurrent sessions, the program is packed with committee meetings and roundtables, and sometimes the schedule can be a little overwhelming. I'm here to give you some inside scoop on how to best navigate those meetings. First, everything you need to know is on the ACEC Convention app. Download the app and you'll have everything you need at your fingertips. On Monday afternoon, we have CEO roundtables, all organized by firm size. The small firm roundtable is for firms with one to 50 employees. The medium is for firms with 51 to 200 employees. Large is 201 to 500 and very large is for over 500 employees. Of course, you can attend any of these that interest you, but generally that's how they're organized. On Tuesday and Wednesday, the round tables and committees meet all day. We have nearly 30 committees at ACEC and almost all of them are meeting at the spring convention. We have committees focused on key issue areas such as transportation, tax and regulatory affairs, risk management, technology, workforce, water and environment, and energy, just to name a few. If there is a topic you are interested in or something you want to learn more about, feel free to sit in on the meetings. You will note on the events app, if a meeting is closed, it will say members only. Otherwise, feel free to join in. You will also see coalition roundtables and meetings in the convention lineup. The coalition meetings include CAMI for MEP firms, CASE for structural engineers, COPS for professional surveyors, LDC for land developers, and of course the small firm coalition. If you decide to join in on one of the coalition roundtables or committee meetings, be sure and introduce yourself to the staff liaison or the committee chair so that we can follow up with you after. If you have any questions during your time in Washington, please stop by the registration desk or flag down a member of the ACEC national staff. We can't wait to see you in Washington. 
Hello, everyone. I'm Steve Hall, ACEC's Executive Vice President, and I also run the Advocacy Department at ACEC. We're looking forward to seeing everybody at ACEC's annual convention and legislative summit, where a cornerstone of this meeting is our lobbying program, where we're going to send hundreds of ACEC citizen lobbyists to Capitol Hill to advocate on key industry priorities. And a top priority for the industry right now, as many of you know, is restoration of full deductibility of R&D expenses. The House passed their bill. It's now time for the Senate to act. And we may have a showdown on Capitol Hill the very week that you're in Washington. We need your voice like never before to urge the Senate to act on R&D. There's still time to register. Go to acec.org to sign up for this important event. Join us. Help the industry to push this critical issue forward. Thank you. Hi, my name is Daphne Bryant. I'm the executive director at the ACEC Research Institute. Lump sum contracting is a study that our members have been asking us to look into since the Institute began. And I'm pleased to report that we're doing just that. We're working with a research team from Virginia Tech led by Dr. Michael Garvin. Dr. Garvin and his team have already interviewed dozens of ACEC member firm executives, as well as state DOTs and federal agencies, those both using lump sum and not using it. And we are excited to share some of the initial results with you at the ACEC annual convention. But time's running out, so I encourage you to visit acec.org and register today. Look forward to seeing you there.